What is up everyone? Welcome back to your daily dose of Heroes of the Storm. My name is Saren Death, and today we are playing the Banshee Queen herself, Sylvanas. Let's get into a game. Victory for the Forsaken. Today we've decided to take a leisurely stroll through the Garden of Terror. My team, Sylvanas, Chen, Brightwing, Nova, Rainer. Enemies team, Kerrigan, Vala, Sylvanas, Zeratol, Nova. Okay, so they have double stealthy on their team, so I need to be careful about that. I guess we'll go top lane with the bright wing. No, we're gonna need to go bot lane. We're gonna need to go bot lane, because Nova down there is gonna have a hard time. <laughs> Alright, I have I don't have a new build to show anyone. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys the build that I tend to use a little often. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with this. It's definitely not the most efficient of builds, but it's still kind of fun to play with. With that in mind, our first talent is gonna be with the wind. Our withering fires range is gonna be increased by 25%. My ability is really quick. Q is called Withering Fire. You're going to rapid fire. It's a rapid fire ability. costs no mana. When minions die around you, it's going to refill um, the five up to five maximum. So pretty good ability. The W is called Shadow Nova. Oh no. So Shadow Nova, um, you're going to toss this out. It's going to deal some damage, and then you are going to um, put a disease on that person or a poison or whatever you want to call it. And that, uh, that target is going to then spread that. Okay, there must be a stealthy up here somewhere. Uh, oh, I didn't get away. My E is called Haunting Wave. Um, you saw the other Sylvanas use that uh, aggressively. You can use this defensively. What this does is it sends out a wave of Banshees that deal some damage, put your passive on the targets that it passes over, and then... Oh, thank you, Chen. There must be another Stealthy in the area. Um, and it's going to actually have a cast bar. The, uh, if the cast bar, if you activate it again before the cast bar is finished, it will actually teleport you to that location. So, pretty good ability. Alright. So, we are going to be going up here and getting these seeds. I'm going to spread my disease out that way. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm going to come over to this side, hopefully get the seeds that are over here. All right. Oh no! Bright wing just teleported down. Carrying got polymorphed. Oh, very nice job. Very very nice job. Now my passive, really quick, what it does is I'm gonna take Envenom at this talent here. Envenom is a it's a poison you throw on a target that does a lot of damage uh, over time. So my passive, um, what it does is minions. Um, Structures, buildings, anything, right? Um, anything that's not a boss or a um, an enemy, an enemy minion. So things like uh, Zagara's uh, minions or Kerrigan's, if she decides to take the Zerkling thing, you can't target those. But it stuns them for one second. It's a very, very nice ability um, that gives you a, a great deal of pressure that you can put in lane gives you the ability to lock down towers and things like that. Now, what it also does for you is actually very important. It gives you the ability to take Merc Camps very easily. So Siege Giants are the easiest of them. That's gonna kill her. We're at... Oh! <laughs> we didn't... We we're going to teleport over there, but we didn't get over there far enough. So you can take uh, most Merc Camps uh, pretty easily. Now, um, with that in mind, the um, anything like the Knights or something like that, they're a little tougher to get, only because of the way that, that the Knights are. But uh, Siege Camps, you can actually take them very easily. Oh, I was going to try and get over here and get this, and they teleported away. Nicely done. So the Guard of Terror has three abilities. The first ability is a Q. You toss that Q. And it will... Ah, I knew there was a Zeratul over there. I knew it. Um, the Q will then polymorph the 
uh, the target if they stand it. And it lasts a while. It lasts a deceptively long time. So keep that in mind if you decide, oh, it's already popped, I'm going to run over it. it it'll, still, it'll still do its thing on you. So you got to be careful. I'm just going to spread my disease from her to the towers. And we're going to take care of this. Now, at this town tier, we're going to take Unstable Poison. Oh, just got sniped. Got to get out. My E was on cooldown because I used it aggressively. That's always the danger with it. It's so easy to use it aggressively, but if you don't, if you do, you don't might not have it defensively. So I was going to come up here, then juke down was the idea. So they were chasing up there. I might have been able to get away or at least get to my team. So like I was saying, the Garden of Terror. So it's got three abilities. The W is actually this. It's a potted plant you throw on the ground that will lock down buildings. Um, pretty much structures in any way. So they can't tap the well, things like that. Um, e is called Haunting Wave. I'm sorry. Bleh. The E for the um, the Garden of Terror is actually a movement speed booster. My brain may not be all here today. I apologize for that. <laughs> all right. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to take this Merc down. Like I said, I can take this pretty much by myself if I really wanted to. Was she going to... I wasn't sure if she was going to try and bribe. So as you can see, if you use your Q, you can lock down one, and your auto attacks can lock down the other one. And if you time it right, you can actually get them, and they won't actually be able to deal any damage to you. Super efficient, super safe. I'm glad to see the Zeratul just came... Oh! The Zeratul seems to be connecting and disconnecting. That's unfortunate for the enemy team. Hopefully that, that isn't the case. Hopefully he's able to reconnect without too many more problems. I'm not a fan of showing games when people disconnect. Alright, so there we go. The bright wing looks like she's down and bribed this group. That's going to give us a lot of pressure in these lanes. We are moving as five, it looks like, in the top lane. For a Herc, we're going to take Wailing Arrow. Now, I would love to say that Possession is a good talent to take, but I personally have not found a solid use for it yet. Um, it's... I don't know. That may have been a wasted ultimate, but it was still fun. <laughs> we have our giants are going to be pushing in now. The night phase is about to begin. There's that explosion, that uh, unstable poison. It's, it's a fun ability. It's really, really fun. Ooh, fantastic barrel. Fantastic barrel. Push the Zagara out into our into our push. All right, I'm gonna head out here. I'm going to start collecting these seeds. I'm gonna come to this one here first. So our passive will lock these guys down as well, and our explosion will deal damage to all of them. So it's it makes taking these smaller camps even easier. Now our passive does not apply to these big bosses, unfortunately. So you still have to deal with them. You can't just sit there and tank the damage. I'm gonna try and after that that stun goes out, I'm gonna try and come in here and tank this for a little bit. Grab the health regen. Make sure we're out of the stun. Good job. Uh oh. Alright. And that's going to tip down. So it looks like the enemy uh, went for that bottom one pretty hard. I am on my way, team. Oh, that was a nice juke. I think that Zeratul may actually try something cheeky like throwing the... Uh, uh, I thought he was going to avoid prisoners there for a second. So we took the... Um, the Garden Terror again. So, one thing to remember, as soon as you pick the Garden Terror up, she like cannot... Ooh, I got him with my poison. Oh, that was so lucky. He was like just in range. You can't take... So like I was saying, you can't actually take the Merc Camps anymore. So sometimes it's actually better to sit on the... Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this may end poorly.
So I accidentally chose the wrong talent too. <laughs> So what we took instead, <laughs> so normally I go with the Withering Fire uh, increases the movement speed, but in, uh, not Withering Fire, yeah, Withering Fire. But instead what we did is we took the passive, now I actually have been intending to play with this uh, for a while, so this is actually a good thing. You guys get to see me test out a new, a new uh, talent on screen. But what this one does is when you apply your passive to enemy heroes, it actually slows them. And I've had a theory for a while. Okay, that since I'm going to be going Bolt of the Storm at the end anyway, um, sometimes I, I wish that while the movement speed is fantastic, okay, the movement speed is fantastic, it's been my go-to for a while, okay, where you get the movement speed on your Q and it stacks three times every time you use it. Um, I've been wondering if taking the, um, the slow would actually be better for chasing enemies. The Q is definitely better when you're trying to run, but I've always wondered if it was better. Oh. We are very low on mana. That's not the real Nova. That's not the real Nova. Okay, at this here, we are going to be... Nor normally, we would take something like the... Uh, vulnerability on our dagger, but we're gonna go for blood for blood this time. It's been something I've been I've been testing out, and it's more like it more uh, works in line. Oh, I don't think I got him. That was a waste of an alt. Waste of an alt. We need to back out of here. Hmm. I don't know. This is actually gonna give us the advantage if the Chen keeps in there tanking it. She teleports out here. I'm going to kill her. All right. Need to get out of that. But anyway, like I was saying, I've been, I've been meaning to test this out for a while. Ugh, need to get out of this. Okay, I need to back out. I don't know. It looks like they really want to keep pushing in. We might be able to do this. We might be able to do this. It's a little risky. We need the mana. That way, if we need to, we can escape. Oh, I think we might be able to do this. Enemy team is coming up now. I think we got this one. And this one's in the bag. I really wanted to play with the slow a little bit more. Maybe I'll try it again next time. Um... But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this quick look at Sylvanas. It's a pretty quick game, especially for Garden of Terror. These, uh, these map, this map can tend to uh, drag on for quite a while, 30 plus minutes easily, um, if, you, if you're really uh, fighting back and forth, if one team doesn't get a uh, pretty significant advantage early on. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, and until next time, I will catch you all. Uh, what exactly does Victory for the Forsaken look like? Are we talking like full-on zombie apocalypse? You know, zombies and slash skeleton people walking around? Because if that's the case, I'm not into that. But if we're talking like equal rights for skeletal zombie people, I'm okay with that.